Brandy at the bottom of my bean, and I'm here to show you exactly what goes into dyeing up the pulled silk I've been doing for my shop and Darn Good Yarn. And first of all, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to be stepping back and forth around the camera. I have two steamers over there going with a couple lots of fiber already in them. I have my empty bottles to mix colors. My vinegar sitting in the sink there, and... I think this will this will definitely work if I can turn around and face the camera every now and then. Maybe go up just a little. There we go. Okay, the next colorway I'm doing is harvest. And let me go grab my gloves. I forgot my gloves. If you can ignore the washer and dryer in the background, <laughs> that would be awesome. Got my gloves. On. And I'm going to be mixing up the next four colors for the Harvest colorway. I'm using turkey red, yellow, orange, and golden brown. And the first thing that I do, let me rinse everything out here real good. Is I'm going to go ahead and measure in my dye. So, I'll start with the golden brown. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my water to fill it up the rest of the way. I prefer to use hot water because the dye takes a little quicker. And there's one done. And I don't want to spill any of this on my carpet because they put a carpet in my kitchen, which is not the smartest thing because it is wool and it will dye it. So here are my four colors and I will be right back to turn the camera. skeins of the pulled silk and I've wrung them out a little bit and I'm just going to shake them out a bit and lay them down. I got four strips of plastic cling wrap um, spread across the table. I can do four at a time. This is messy work. It doesn't really protect the table that much, but it keeps too much um, water from settling down there. So. Got them all spread out. And I need 
need to grab a few more towels, so I'm just going to reach over here and grab those. Towels are really important with this. Mainly, they're not really mopping up dye. They're mainly mopping up water. And I already have one load of towels in the washer. That's what's going in the washer. So that way I can get some washed and dried and keep on going. Okay, now we're ready to start. Now, since there's four colors in this colorway, I'm literally just going to divide the skein into fourths. One, two, three, four. And I'll start with the brown. Looks like I need to turn that one a little bit. There we go. So it'll pour out a little nicer. working the dye through. And this is why I need to wear gloves because I will dye my finger as many different colors and they'll end up being black after all the colors blend. <laughs> steamers is done. That's what that dinging was. <laughs> Actually, this is real fun work. I, I like playing with these. So. One, two, three, four. check and just make sure that everything got underneath. dyeing itself will be done right here because I used hot water and the vinegar work together to set the dye. But I make sure by steaming it that it actually stays, is it, the dye is fast. So I'll give it a couple minutes here. Let me grab one of my wonderful little claws here and wipe off my gloves a little bit. too much because what will happen is is the color will take and then I'll be left with all this water in the um, in the yarn that actually will prevent other colors from dying so they have to be kind of dried off a little bit and that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to dry these off As you can see, most of the dye actually just got took up in the yarn. And I keep a handy dandy little bucket over here to throw my cloths in. And I go through them fairly quickly, so this is why I have so many and I keep them washed. Put them on the other side. I can press it right out and soak it up. And that's one 
color done. Now we'll start with the other color. We'll set it on the red. Now that everything is dyed up, I'm going to turn this into a burrito. And what I mean by that is I'm going to roll, roll, literally roll it up in the plastic like a burrito. As you can see, I overlap the plastic a little bit. But I'll fold the yarn in half. And roll it. And then I roll it up from there. And now it's all ready to go into the steamer. And do that with each one. There you go, four burritos ready to go in the steamer. Now, let's turn the camera around again, and one of my steamers had just gone off, and I think one's about ready to go off. Let me see. steamer you get something like that. So set them out. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. So let them cool. Start putting the new ones in. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. water to my steamer. And that is 
is how I have been making up the pulled silk yarn for Join Good Yarn and the Fibromyvena. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I got more dyeing to do. Bye.